Hello everyone and welcome back to Budget with Alicia. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't post last pay period which would have been the 26th, 27th, somewhere in there of March. Um, but don't fret because the money is still here. <laughs> um, I actually didn't even stuff them last time. Um, my birthday was on the 27th and that weekend was just super super busy and then I just ended up buying the few things I needed like food gas that kind of stuff with my debit card and just pulled the money out now with my new current pay stub or pay, pay paycheck so um I actually have tons of money to stuff today and tons of things to talk about so we should definitely get started so that we don't uh end up on here for a million years but if you're new here um the first thing that I always do is take my jars and put in the extra change that I had from my last pay period. So this is from the last two pay periods. Um, I didn't pay for a lot of things in cash the last two weeks because like I said, I paid with my debit. So there wasn't that much stuff, um, that much to stuff from the last pay period. That's why there's not that much. There we go. So that is all of that. Now I'm just trying to think of the best way to go about doing all of this stuff. Um, because we have a bunch of stuff to do. So here is the leftover money that I had for the last two pay periods. Um, we'll do this at the end, I think. Just so that makes it a little bit easier. I'm just going to back this money up a little bit so that we can see. It is getting really nice and warm here in Canada. I'm super excited that it's becoming more summery. I'm just going to try and put this springy, whatever. It was like 28 degrees the other day, so that was really exciting. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to do all of our cash. Um, so first, we obviously have rent. Now we have to do rent for two pay periods, so we're going to put 220 um, into rent. I don't really usually write on this little card. Let's try and bring us back here a little bit. There we go. That's much better. Okay. I don't usually write on this card, so I'm just going to put 220 in here. So, so I shall leave that. 50, uh, whatever. 220. So we have 120, or 150, 220. Perfect. That's that. And then we'll start doing our cash envelopes. So first is eating out. Now for these, there's obviously only um, enough for one, or sorry, it's just this current pay period that we're doing. Um, since I already took out the money that I didn't spend on my debit card to do for last pay period. So for eating out, we are going to do 40. So we got 20, 40. Next is groceries and groceries is also going to get 40. Sorry, my cat is meowing at me. Um, next is gasoline. It's going to get 50. I did just buy a new car, so that was also part of my excitement the last couple of weeks, which made me super, super busy. I'm just going to put a 50 in here. Perfect. And finally is spending, which is just going to get 10. Okay. 
And then we will move on to our sinking funds, which is super exciting. All right. So the first sinking fund is gifts. Um, and we're going to put 20 in it for the first pay period and 25 for the second. So there'll be $40 altogether, or $45 altogether. So it should be 190 So 20, 40, 5. So it's 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. I don't know. I might have done, done the math wrong on that one. I'll figure that one out later. So 180. Next is Christmas, and Christmas is going to get 40. One twenty five. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two, twenty five. Sorry, I think I forgot to mention it's twenty for each pay period, so that's why it's forty. Next is Christmas giving, and it's gonna get 10 for each pay period, so it's gonna get 20 all together. Fifty, seventy, ninety, a hundred and ten. Next is beauty, and it's going to get 10 for just the one pay period and nothing for the next. So it'll have 70. I did get my hair done for my birthday, so I did spend some out of here. I think there was like 170 at one point. It cost me about 100 bucks to get my hair done, so 20, 40, 60, 70. I probably won't be doing anything else in beauty for quite a while, so I'm just starting to try and beef it back up a little bit. Next is makeup and hygiene, and it is going to get 20 for one pay period and 10 for the other, so it's going to get 30 altogether. That should be 105. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, a hundred and five. Now, once makeup and hygiene gets to a hundred, I move it over to um, my funded, just because I don't need more than that at one time. Like if I were to have to get all of my necessities, like shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, foundation, all that stuff, $100 would cover everything at one time. Usually I don't have to get everything at one time, so I have time to build it back up. Um, so after I get to 100, I stop funding it until I use it again, basically. So this will go to my funded. Next is car maintenance. Um, I did have an issue with my car and I had to spend some money at the um, mechanic, so it's going to get 50, 20 from one pay period and 30 from the other. Should be 320. So we have one, two, 
50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20. Next is dental, and it is going to get 50 for one period and 100 for the other. So a total of 150. So it should be 1,170. So one. 20, 40, 50. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, or two, four, six, eight. 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,100, 20, 40, 60, 70. I will likely move this over to an account instead of being in cash um, soon because it is getting really full. I'll show you. Like, it's really full. And it's just a lot of money to have lying around. So I'll probably move that one over. Um, next is miscellaneous and it's going to get 10 for one pay period and five for the other. So it's going to get 15. So it'll have 45. 20, 30, 45. Next is clothing, and it is going to get 20 for one and 10 for the other, so it's going to have 30. Next is a new one. So I think if you're like really old and have been watching me for a really long time, you know that I had this fund. I'm probably going to make a new one, but I had this back in the day before COVID and everything when me and my best friend were saving to buy lover tickets when she went on tour, but she didn't go on tour because of COVID. Um, so we ended up using that money for a little girl's getaway. Now this is for um, buying any merch that I want to get. I'd, I'd rather save ahead of time if I want to splurge on merch because if you don't already know, which you may not, um, she's re-releasing her first six albums and there's new merch with every album and stuff and I've been contemplating getting merch for every album but I want to be able to save for it and not take it out of somewhere else that it shouldn't. So I'm going to start this fund again and this one is going to get $50. 20 for one pay period and 30 for the other. So we have 20, 40, 50. There's nothing in this one yet, so. Perfect. So that's that one. And then finally, the last one is my shopping trip. It is going to get... 25 which will bring us to 375 Oh, and forgot to mention actually. So my grandmother gave me $100 for my birthday and I'm gonna put that into shopping trip as well. Um, 
just because that way I have a little bit of extra money for my shopping trip and I don't have anything I really want to pay by rate at this moment so I'm just going to put it in here for now so it'll be at $4.75 so we have $1.250 $1.50 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. My goal for this is about 500. I may put a little bit extra in here um, from just like leftover money from cash envelopes or something. But I'm once I get to 500, I'm not going to put it into my actual budget to put more money into this but if I were to want to put extra money from cash envelopes that's fine so that is all of them now we do have our if you're new here you may not know about these but I have these little um, funds that I made for every pay period and they all have a different amount in them that I have to save so the first one is 25 so that's the first one and the second one for this pay period is 30 so perfect I actually have the right amount <laughs> now I also gave myself a little bit of a challenge that I would put half of whatever is left over from cash envelopes into these funds and then for and then the other half I would just put wherever I felt like I wanted to put the money um, so for the first one There was, let me just look here. For the first one, there was $20 left over. So I'm going to put 10 in here and leave 10. Actually, I'll, use, I'll flip it. Um, and you leave the other 10 for us to put somewhere else. And then for this one over here, there was 45 left over. Um, and I decided that I would do the 25 for it and just 20 for the other. So the first one we are going to put 10, 20, $35 into. So we'll put that in here. Okay. So it'll go in there. And then for the other one, we have 20, 40, Sorry, 20, 40, 55. So it just kind of depends. What I end up having left over, what I can put in there kind of thing. But yeah, so those, that's those two. Now I'll show you guys what I have to put on my, in my, um, thing for next pay period so this is for April paycheck too and I have 30 to put in this envelope that pay period and I always pull it the week at, or during the pay period behind so that I can include it the exact amount into my new budget and make sure I get out the right amount of money now we have $30 left over and I think what I want to do is put 25 into shopping trip because that will then make it complete so I'm going to do that and take a five out and then that'll make it 500 so then it'll be done and if, like I said if I want to put a little bit of extra closer to the time that we're going I will but for right now at least it's funded and I don't have to worry about it anymore and the other five I think I'm just gonna throw it into Taylor Swift so that I have a little bit extra money so let's put an extra five if you can hear that that's my cat I closed the door on her and now she's mad at me 20 40 55 So that is our pay period for this week. I don't think there's anything else that I need to mention. Um, so if you aren't, aren't already, make sure to follow me over on my Instagram. It's Budget with Alicia. And I will see you guys in my next video in a couple of weeks. Bye, guys.